Dr. Susanna Hills for more on this. She's a board certified pediatric airway surgeon at Columbia University Medical Center. Dr. Hill, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. So now 16% of New York's hospital workers are not fully vaccinated. We have been talking for the last 17 minutes about how many are quitting their jobs because of this new vaccine mandate. So two questions for you here. The first, are you surprised by how many healthcare workers are refusing to get vaccinated, especially since the FDA has fully authorized the Pfizer vaccine? And also, are you concerned about what this can do for hesitancy? Because I can imagine someone who's on the fence hearing their nurse or doctor isn't getting it and think, well, should I? Savannah, if you had asked me last year when we were at the height of the surge here in New York, if I thought people would who were working in that environment, taking care of all these sick patients in that really devastating setting we were dealing with, if I if you'd asked me, do I think anybody would um, be hesitant to get a vaccine if it were available? I, w- I would have said no. So, from my perspective, yes, it's surprising, but. Also, we have to remember that these, all of these healthcare workers who, who were with us last year, standing with us, taking care of all of these really sick patients, they were an essential part of this team. They're a really valuable part of our healthcare system and our community. And it's a big loss to, to lose any of them because of, uh, of feelings about getting vaccinated. So it's really difficult. Are the numbers of people leaving, is it concerning to you? Governor Hochul, she has said that she plans to potentially fill the void if needed by deploying the National Guard or bringing in people from other Mm -hmm. states. Uh, What's sort of your take on that and what would that mean for patients? Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, 450,000 healthcare workers. It's a huge number. Um, But the good news is, you know, if you look at our healthcare system here at NYP, a month ago, there were about 30% of our hospital employees who weren't vaccinated after the mandate. That went down to 1%. So, so 99% of people here at NYP ended up getting vaccinated. And the same thing is, appears to be true in most healthcare settings with the mandates. They are effective in getting the vast majority of people vaccinated. But there is still that huge number of people who, who work in the healthcare system who aren't fully vaccinated. Um, and Last year for us, we brought in the military to help support our healthcare system when we were really feeling that crush mm. of, uh, of the surge of COVID here. And they were amazing. They came in, built our Ryan Larkin Field Hospital. It was incredibly functional. It was a huge relief for our hospital. Um, I had a team that I led with four uh, special operations team members who um, were military medics who were brought in and they were invaluable. You know, they came around and helped me manage our airway patients and our tracheostomy patients here um, in the hospital who had had COVID. Dr. Susanna Hills, your expertise and your time is so appreciated this morning. Thank you for joining us.